We have a question from Tamira Upton. When you make the triangles on top of the head for layering, are you using a guide or making your own? When you make the triangles on the top, the reason you're doing that is to create texture. Let me first show you the section, because that's critical. We've been working with horseshoe sections for a long period of time. In the past, maybe we've taken horizontal sections, brought everything to one position, and cut the top off. Now, let me show you what's a great way to create the texture. Simply make your horseshoe section. Once you've made your horseshoe section, you're gonna start at the back and you're gonna make triangles, a large zigzag section. Follow me to the board and allow me to show you on the board. Start in your center back at the top. Here's the top view, here's the horseshoe section. Now I'm gonna go about one inch to the left. Looking at the top of the head, to the right. At that point, I'm gonna go diagonal forward then I'm gonna come back straight across. Now take a look at what I've just done. With those two lines, I've created a wide area here leading to a narrow area, a wide area to a narrow area. Now from here, we simply go diagonal forward. This area here is going to be our fringe area. Here are the triangles we're going to go in and cut. Now, when you're lifting these up, you decide the length of each triangle section. So if I'm starting in the back area of the head here, and I'm choosing to take everything, pulling it all over to the wide side of the triangle. So I'm gonna take everything from narrow to wide. Here's the wide side. I would stand on this side, take this section straight up, look at the length that it's gonna be, create your desired length, point cut into that. Once we do that, we created the hair falling back over longer. So we're going from short to long. You're gonna to move to the next triangle on top of the head. Follow me to the board. That's this triangle. Now we're gonna stand on the wide side of the triangle in this particular case. We'll talk about why in a moment. Stand on the wide side of the triangle. So we stand on the wide side. We're lifting the wide side up. And once again, determine your guide by visually looking at the length here. You want it shorter, you want it longer. There is no guideline from the last triangle. So you be aware of how short is the length gonna be straight up at the base of the triangle, or how long do you want it? And you simply point cut into that. Once again, now can you see we've got short going back to long again. So we went from short to this side, over to long, now we go opposite, short to long. So the triangles are almost canceling each other out. Great way to create nice texture that has length, important, and movement. Follow me to the next one. The next one is gonna be your last one here. Once again, go to the wide side of the triangle. On the wide side of the triangle, that's where we're standing in this particular case. Everything comes over again. We move over to one side again, and we repeat the same procedure. Remember this, each triangle, you create the guideline. Now remember, this is your fringe area. You do what you want in that area. Leave it long, cut a nice heavy blunt fringe, side sweeping, your choice. Now let's talk about the triangles narrow to wide. Sam, when might I stand on the narrow side? We just talked about standing on the wide side of each triangle. We're going to stand on the wide side of each triangle when you want to create and release a lot of weight, high density. Suggest you stand on the wide. When you have low density, you need more length. So can you see if I stood on the narrow side of the triangle, brought everything over to the narrow side, lifted it cut up, less hair is, is short and more hair is getting longer as it travels over. Let's take a look at the center triangle right here and show you this. If I stand on the narrow side and I stand over here, bring all of the wide side to the narrow side. Can you see there's less hair here? So less is short. More hair as the triangle gets wide, so you're getting more hair longer. So you have a choice, creative choice here, my friends. You can stand on the narrow side or the wide side, depending upon how much weight you want to leave. And remember, with each triangle, you create your own guide. Try the triangle concept, you're going to love it, Take a step out of your comfort zone, and rather than taking simple horizontal sections across your, your horseshoe section, I'm gonna suggest you use the triangle concept. You're gonna love it. Have fun, and remember, just cut the darn thing.